Hey there, Zeke from Replicate. Uh, I want to give you a demo today of a new app we built called Scribble Diffusion. So Scribble Diffusion is a web app powered by AI that lets you draw a sketch using your browser. Um, it works on mobile or desktop. You add a text prompt, and then you can use um, Stable Diffusion to generate images that match your sketch. So here we can see I just drew a sunflower, or I'm not a very good sketcher, but here's me trying to draw a cat with a cowboy hat. And the model is actually able to create a pretty interesting and faithful rendering of a cat wearing a cowboy hat. So that gives you kind of an idea. If you go to scribblediffusion.com, you can actually try it out yourself. When you first come to the site, um, you'll actually be uh, provided with a starting image. You can actually just clear that easily and do your own thing. So all you do is kind of scribble something. You add a prompt and you hit go and you'll see your results start to accumulate here um, on the page. And if you don't like what you see, you can actually just give it another go with these generative models. You know, you never know what you're going to get unless you give it a, a seed. So um, it's actually really fun to just keep smashing the go button and see what you get. You can also um, refine your uh, prompts a little bit or refine your sketch a little bit. So if you don't like the last line you drew, you can hit the undo button. Or if you do multiple strokes, you can undo the last one or clear the whole thing. So if you're just interested in using this model and you don't actually care about uh, how it works or how to um, create your own web app that's similar to this, then you're going to stop watching the video now. But if you want to know more about the technical details of how this was built, then keep watching. All right, so we covered how to use it. Of course, like all of the demo apps that we build at Replicate, this is open source. So if you go to Replicate slash Scribble Diffusion on GitHub, you can see the repo and we've got a readme there that kind of covers how the app is built and how you can get started um, running it yourself and working on it. So <clears throat> we'd love for you to um, clone this app, use it to make your own thing, or you can also you know, contribute pull requests to scribblediffusion.com if you want to add new features or fix bugs or anything like that. Um, of course, this app is built with Next.js, like a lot of the, the demo apps that we've been building. It's a really great way to get started building an app with Replicate. It's really easy to deploy Next apps to Vercel, and they do a great job of taking care of um, giving you a React front end for your application and a Node.js back end, and everything just works magically. So I'll give you a little, I'll dig into that in a little bit. So how does this actually do this image generation? So it's based on this model called control net. And to be honest, I don't know a ton about how it works, but the idea is it's trained checkpoints of stable diffusion that are specifically trained to do edge detection. So that means finding the sort of boundaries of images. And so these, uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Jasper has actually taken this control net model and is in the process of publishing a handful of variants of these this control net these control net models and the one that we're particularly interested in the one we're using for scribble diffusion is called control net scribble so it's a model that takes an image and a text prompt as input and it produces um, an image as output and of course there are other inputs that you can specify to change uh, the size of the image or the number of, of images that you get back. But on the Scribble Diffusion site, we're just sort of stripping all that away so that you're only providing the two essential inputs, which are the source image and the text prompt. So like all models on Replicate, Control Net Scribble can be run with an API. You can run it right on the website right here by filling out this form, but you can also Go to the API tab and see how you can use this model from Python, from curl. We're working on other client libraries. We're going to have a JavaScript client library um, soon. But in the meantime, I'll show you how we do this in our Next.js app. All right, so we control, we covered the control net repo, the replicate model. 
let's look at the React front end for Scribble Diffusion. So when you create a Next.js app, you get this kind of convention over configuration thing, which is really great, where um, it creates a pages directory for you. And whenever you put a new file in this pages directory, it automatically just becomes a route. So there's a file called index.js, and this is kind of the entry point into our application. Index.js is using a component called Canvas, and this is sort of the, the thing where you can actually draw on the screen. So we're just using an NPM module called React Sketch Canvas that makes it really easy to drop in a canvas that folks can draw on that has support for both uh, mobile or desktop. And basically what we do is whenever that changes, we gather up that data, turn it into a PNG, and when the submit button is uh, hit, we have a way to upload that data to, to replicate. So this is the, um, the index page, and this is the form handler for when you hit the submit button. So actually the first thing we do is we take the scribbled PNG that we generated on the browser, and we upload it to a service called upload.io. And one of the ways this is, uh, one of the reasons we wanna do this is so that we have a permanent way of being able to hold on to um, this generated sketch file because Replicate um, only stores your input and output um, prediction data for one hour after you create the prediction. So you have to figure out a way to um, store the data yourself if you want to keep it. So we have a little, a little bit of glue code here to just handle uploading files. And then once we've uploaded that file, we provide the URL as an input when creating um, a HTTP request to uh, our own API. So inside this next app, we're actually hitting our own API endpoint in slash API slash predictions. So Next.js has this really cool feature where there's a directory called API and everything within this directory automatically becomes a server-side Node.js route. So everything in the top level is a React front-end component and everything in API is a server-side route. Um, dynamically. So you don't even have to configure that. So we upload the file. Here's a little screenshot of upload.io. Um, it provides a really nice uh, interface for managing files and a really easy JavaScript client for uploading files. So here's what the API route looks like. So um, when you submit the form, we're actually submitting it to our own Node.js backend here which is um, taking the request body from the browser submission, turning it into a um, JSON um, body to submit to the Replicate API. So this version corresponds to the version of Control Net Scribble that's on Replicate that we wanna use. And we just set a few headers here. We set our Replicate API token. You can get this by going to replicate.com slash account and copying it. Um, this is all documented in the readme for this repo as well. And then you just make a request to the Replicate API and it responds with um, a JSON object that contains the status of the prediction. Um, of course, the prediction doesn't complete simultaneously. It takes a little time for the model to run and actually generate the image. So the first response you get is just uh, a JSON object saying your prediction was created, it's in a starting state. So what we do is we actually have another API endpoint, which can be used to pull for the status of the prediction. So we actually have something on the, the React side that is running um, every half second or so to check on the status of the prediction to see if it's done. So that's a little about how um, the, the front end and the back end work in the web app itself. Um, I just wanna show that um, whenever you create predictions, you can actually see on replicate.com, we've actually made a few um, updates to this page recently, which is great. If you're on the dashboard, you can see all the re recent predictions made by your account, but you can actually also now drill down into predictions for a specific model. So on this page, we're actually seeing all the control net scribble predictions that have been run recently. And if you click on the ID for one, you can see the kinds of predictions that are coming through. So we just released this, this um, I don't know, about an hour ago, but we're already seeing some pretty interesting stuff coming in here. People just playing around and generating all kinds of, 
funny images. So that's how that works. Um, what's next? This is where you come in. If you are an open source contributor and want to work on Scribble Diffusion, um, we would love your contributions. So it'd be really nice if you were on scribblediffusion.com and you generated something and you thought, oh, that's really cool. I want to copy a link to that. Um, that would be a really nice feature to have. And side note, we recently re released an app called TileMaker, which allows you to generate tiling images. And um, my friend Charlie, who made this app, put in this really nice feature where you can easily um, copy a link and share it with your friends so they can see your specific output. So we want something like that on Scribble Diffusion, and that's not too hard to add um, and would be a really useful feature. We also want to be able to sync to local storage. So if I leave this page and come back, it'll just have a long running predict list of all of the, the images that I've generated in the past. Also, it'd be really cool if it had open graph images. So if I copied one of these and shared it with someone and dropped it in uh, you know, social media somewhere or messages.app or something like that, it would show an actual preview to the person with an open graph image based on the actual inputs and outputs. So those are some fun things um, that we could add in the future. And if it's something you want to work on, definitely please feel free to clone the repo and um, get involved. Also, if you find bugs or you have questions about how this thing works, feel free to open issues on the public repo for Scribble Diffusion. And thanks for watching.